Hello and welcome back to the lab. Today on the bench, we are going to tackle another restoration of a second unit of a 70 or a 475A scope. This one has the DM44, and just in case, this is the one that uh, the chips got moved out of in the previous videos, which I will link in the description below. We'll get this one all taken care of. It's in kind of rough shape to start with. A little cracking here. Um, definitely very dirty. We will give it a shot and see what we can do. There's, there'll be a lot we can do for this one. So, in this particular video, I'm not going to go through an in-depth calibration. I have a four-video series already posted on YouTube about doing an in-depth alignment and calibration on one of these. So, I will link those in the description below. This one will focus on the repair and the restoration of the unit. So, with that, let's just dive in and get started. Well, I've just taken the cover of the DM44 off, and we have a couple of friends already. There are some bugs in the unit. So, not only do we have to logically debug it, but we have to physically debug it as well. Okay, having taken the back panel off and getting the power cord loose, someone has cracked the ground pin off the power cord, so we will have to be address we will have to address that. But given that the back panel frame is loose, we now just literally punch the unit forward, and out it comes. I do not owe this unit anything parts-wise from the previous restoration, so let's give it some voltage on the current limited and variac supply. We'll drive it about 116 volts. Let's see if we have any signs of life. We do, we're drawing about 70 watts, and we have no shorts on the filament bulbs, so everything is good. So, we'll give it full voltage, and go from there. Okay, here we are with four, full line voltage, drawing about 83 watts. Let's see if we can get it to show us something. This is having struggling a little bit for sure, but it is counting. So that's positive. Yeah, we may have some display problems here, but it is. The numbers aren't locked up, so that's not a bad sign. So I'll take that to start. So let's go channel one. Hey, we have LEDs, channel 2, and we got LEDs too, so those switches are somewhat working. Uh, all the lines up, center the controls, and you should at least get some semblance of a trace. Yes, I see glow. Okay, so we have a healthy tube, but I don't have sweet. I can move both channels. I can alternate between the channels, I think. Oh, no, alt's not going to work because it's not sweeping, so that's going to be a problem. Now, something's not happy with channel two. Oh, wait. Do I have to do both? No. No, I have to set it to channel 2 for XY mode. Okay, that's fine. Let me throw a uh, sine wave on channel 1 and channel 2, at least see if I can get it to draw a uh, circle. Okay, I've got a sine wave running, just seeing if we can get any kind of deflection. And... Yep, it's all kinds of over the map. So we have lots of dirty contacts, a bunch of stuff's messed up. I did notice these controls are set wrong for sweep, so 
Um, let's see if we can get some sweep again. We'll leave this connected. We'll go to channel one. And we will AC couple and normal mode. And we do have sweep. Look at that. Okay. So that's actually a lot. And we are triggering as well. So, oh, nope, that's the delay time level. And let's see. Now the trigger circuit's going to have all kinds of problems in it because this has this bad that has this has this uh, leaky transistor in the trigger circuit. I believe it's the 0361, if I remember the number right. Don't quote me on that one though. Um, but uh, so the fact that it's triggering at the moment, I'm happy with because I know I have to replace a bunch of transistors in here, and we will get into that. So, all in all, for the con physical condition of the scope, not horrible. It's definitely dirty. Needs some service. Uh, the attenuators, of course, seeing the mode going on, it's going to need a bunch of work. So, But that is also why it is here. As I'm waiting for the cleaning agents to take effect on the switches and the cams before I can finish the service on those. I just did a quick wipe down of the front panel and it cleans up pretty quick. It looks a lot better already. Uh, I have to let this sit now for a while to um, let everything work, come back. There's some more service steps for the uh, just before we even start trying to figure out if there's problems with it. So We'll let it sit, I'll exercise the controls some more, and then we will come back and uh, go from there. Okay, I'm not finished servicing all the controls and everything yet. However, I did use one of my function generators. Uh, for those that are curious, the uh, 2102. I just put a, a 10 megahertz sine wave into the front of this thing, and I just ran the attenuators through all their ranges just to make sure just a sanity check that like none of the attenuators were burned out. I have had this style of attenuator where one of the resistors was burned in half and everything like that. And they, and the good news is I got good sine waves through. So didn't really see anything that was capacitively coupling and everything was acting happy. Um, there are some faults in the trigger side. I have some sweep rate problems on the delay time. Um, or there is some sweep problems. If the sweep rate is too slow, it, the unit stops sweeping. So uh, there is going to be troubleshooting that we have to do on the time base. But uh, all in all, for the condition that this scope was in when I took the covers off, this is looking pretty good. Um, I think it's going to come back nicely, but uh, time will tell. Like I said, i got to get into the controls a little bit more, clean them up, and then... The next biggest issue, we'll say I'll sanity check the power supply. And then the next biggest issue is going to be the dead transistors in the time base. And then if we still have a sweep problem after swapping out those dead transistors in the time base, um, troubleshooting some of the sweeping and figuring out what's wrong there. But uh, all ranges, both channels. I had good signal coming through, so that is perfect. I am happy about that. So I've had the scope and the uh, meter warming up for a little bit. We're going to check some power supply for Ripple and um, DC just to make sure before we get into an alignment on this, or at least troubleshooting the sweep circuits, that the uh, power supply is sane. So here's plus 15. That looks good. Uh, minus 8. I'll take that. Let's see. Plus 5. That looks good. Plus 50. That's nice, too. Plus 110. Yep. Negative 8. Yeah, positive five. And then 50 volts unregulated. 
Yep, that's a little high as expected, which is fine. Negative 15 is also good. Very cool. So supply-wise, this scope is in good shape. Now the question is, why does it not sweep? I think what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to flood the uh, sweep switch with alcohol out of a uh, pressurized alcohol can. Just kind of clean it up a little bit, see if we can't get sweep rate back. I'm not necessarily worried about absolute accuracy at this point, but I do want to get it sweeping. Uh, that no sweep state is a little concerning at the moment. So we'll do that next, but I need to take the power off before I spray a whole bunch of flammable stuff on a board with 100 volts. That sounds like a bad idea. Okay, here we are in, you'll have to forgive my uh, voice at the moment. I am recovering from a decent case of the flu. This is the first time I've been back in the lab in about a week. So it's been pretty rough, but we're here. We're getting back to it and we're gonna get this scope fixed. I was taking a look at the attenuator yesterday and I buzzed out the switches with a voltmeter and they were all measuring fine. I didn't have a switch problem on this particular attenuator. So the noise was weird. Ended up being um, the contacts on the actual attenuator block were a little bit uh, dirty and needed to be cleaned. So. I cleaned all four attenuator blocks and ran some testing last night. Everything worked fine. Got everything good to go. And my vertical section's working now correctly. Horizontal section is still out to lunch. So that's the next thing that we're going to address. I'm going to put the cover back on this. And then uh, we're going to tear into some of the uh, horizontal section and see why my B-sweep doesn't work correctly. Okay, we have the trigger board out and all over the place. I have replaced this socket on U600. The other two sockets are fine. They're the board pins. This one was the one of the TI sockets needed to go. I have serviced all of these switches. These are moving a lot better, nice and stiff. I also found a stiff control right in here where the switch wasn't moving when you actuated the uh, delay time and I've also cleaned up the auto norm and single sweep switches. I'm going to tilt the unit down this way to get access to the other four banks of switches, get them cleaned up as well. And then we're going to be back into reassemble and then hopefully we get our uh, sweeps back and they start behaving like they're supposed to. I did clean the barrel switch that's hiding right here and got him all set up. Moves a lot better now that that has been serviced correctly. And we're off to the races. So hopefully this helps with some of the uh, trigger problems we were having, but I won't know till I get the board back put, till I get the board back in and everything put back together. Okay, after lots and lots of troubleshooting, I've even been swapped some boards in and out, put a whole new trigger board in, see if that was causing my problem with my B-sweep not running. And I have finally found the culprit. And unfortunately, it is not a good one. Uh, so I do not know at this point if this scope is even repairable. Uh, it has definitely crossed into the realm of uh, BER, Beyond Economical Repair. But... Uh, so here's what's going on. And here's the fault, actually. Wait for the tube to warm up. Which is a shame, because the attenuator cleaned up really nicely on this one. So the attenuators actually are working just fine. So A sweep is working. Everything is good, we have a trace. If I kick it over to A lock knobs, I get a trace Right around 0.5 microseconds. At least I used to. Yeah, I still do. So I get a trace, and then it goes away. At 1 microsecond per division. So 0.5, trace, 1, no trace. Now this looks like it's doing something, and it looks like it's behaving. But this is a clue. The display's kind of burned out, and we have some problems there. 
And if I go to B sweep, uh, B doesn't B sweep doesn't start running until 0.5 microseconds, so that's why we have traces. So I was looking at the sweep side of the circuit, the trigger circuits, everything like that, and I've been diving into the schematic, doing everything I can to try to figure out why my B sweep keeps dying at low speeds, cleaning the cleaning the barrel switch for the uh, time base and everything like that. Now, in all the 400 series stuff that I've done, sweep circuits really haven't been a problem. Attenuators, yes. Sweep circuits, n not really. So this was, an, this was an abnormal fault to begin with. But it didn't matter what I did. I still had this weird fault condition. I have the DMM hooked up to uh, ground two on the DM4400 because it's a floating supply. And let me show you the meter. Here is our negative 12 volt rail. As soon as I find the test point again. Yeah, right here. Negative 26 volts. So we have had a cascade failure of the power supply for the DMM. And now that we've had almost a double, well, more than double over voltage on that rail, there's a lot burned out. I can't say exactly up here what's burned out without exhaustively testing everything. However, there are some custom tech uh, ICs up there. But for the timing functions, this ties into the sweep side of the scope and the delay sweep and everything like that. So it does explain the fault that I'm seeing with this 475A. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I was it was it was cleaning up well. I was really hoping this thing was going to go, but as requested by the uh, patrons of the channel, I am uh, even when stuff doesn't work out on the bench, I will post the video anyway, and we will go from there. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see everybody in the next video.